Hey, from Zen Stray here, and welcome to World of Warships. As in today's video, we're going to be checking out Sunray in the Darkness. So the briefing for this operation is, is Transylvania and her rescuers returned to the native shores of the Silver Spear Archipelago. <laughs> but the forces of darkness are trailing them and forcing their way through the portal. The brewing horror can be ceased only by sealing the portal with the help of the Great Towers. But you must defend the towers from the dark-minded foes until the portal is sealed. This is our only hope. So, these portals here. Goal, defend the Great Towers until they seal the portal to the Lost Dimension. Participation conditions, you can participate without division. Your allies will be selected randomly, as this is the uh, quote-unquote operation of the week. So I'm going to be taking the Yurashima. Uh, so if we actually look at the ship, it's basically a, a Shimakaze as far as I'm concerned, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And each ship gets some uh, different uh, unique consumables. Uh, yeah, the filthy engine boost um, increases your speed, restores your HP, anti-guidance system, and enemy ships stop firing their main guns at your ship, and steam torpedo rammer reduces the torpedo tube reload time. On your cruiser, you have your damage control party, you have inversion charge, which accelerates the reload speed of the main battery guns, which restores the sh ship's HP by 25% of the caused damage, and a percentage of restored HP doubles when you deal 50, 100, 200, and 400,000 HP of damage. You also get a surveillance radar, which is a detection range of 15 kilometers. And we check this ship out, and it kind of looks like maybe it's a French ship. I could totally be wrong. And then we go to the uh, Mag Magnu S, which gives you, again, a damage control party. You get a dynamic repair zone, creates a 750 meter repair zone around your ship that restores allied ships HP. The more ships are inside this area, the faster their hit points are restored. The radius of this area doubles when you deal 50, 100, 200, and 400,000 HP of damage. You also have an energy shield that uh, protects the ship from all damage types. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the Yurashima and we're gonna get right into battle. And because this is the quote-unquote operation of the week, I don't have to form a division with anyone to utilize this. Um, as I know in the WoWs um, news article, they did share that these would be the current operations of the week, so you wouldn't be able to actually get a random operation like you had previously, which some have been a little salty about, but they did share about it in there. It's just uh, the current events of how Wargaming decided to do their decisions with implementing uh, the Halloween operations. So, this is our lineup. We're going to look at missions. So, we start here. And basically, it's all the same thing. I have, it's been a long time since I've played this app. So, if I do some potato maneuvers, um, please forgive me. <laughs> but this is kind of like a, uh, maybe you could almost say a first impression, though I have played this in the past. So, we want to protect our team. Uh, it's coming through the portal. And our team's rejoicing. We save Transvania. All is safe now. So we'll see how long that lasts. Let's see what my team's doing. Wow, these turrets turn like incredibly slow. Or, man, ping's not that high. So you can see that our gun range is actually rather uh, limited. Six kilometers, our torpedoes also six kilometers. So we really have to get close or uh, you can just let them come in towards you. Um, we're not gonna waste the torpedoes because this is a Kase will die in short order. But we want to see about some of the paddings here. So we're gonna go like that because it's gonna be accelerating. So we're gonna dump it ahead of time. Don't think I'm gonna waste another torpedo rack. Because they have a reload time of 50 seconds, which honestly isn't bad. So we're gonna to wanna to stay outside of uh, this filth. Avoid the filth. Filth causes damage to your ship and reduces the spotting range. So uh, we do not want to be in that. And as predicted, you lost into those torpedoes. So now we got a destroyer coming in. So something like that. Looks like we only get two torpedo launchers. 
So maybe we can just like work on alternating them. So we need to defend the towers. We need to save Transvania. And some of the secondary tasks are a little hidden here. Save two towers, eliminate all foes in the filth. So basically, we're just going to be keep dumping a lot of torpedoes. So we're going to actually get a little closer here. This guy's going to die really before I can utilize these torpedoes. So I'm going to hang on to them. Because our team's doing a pretty good job of knocking them down. Keeping in mind what consumables we have. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that rack. We have another rack left. Come on. Could have dumped that a little sooner, but we'll still shoot regardless, so we get some more damage in. Ah. Oh, our comrade in arms dumped all of his torpedoes, so. That was a waste of torpedoes on my part. I should have paid attention more closely. So, we're just going to keep paying attention. Keeping an eye on our towers, because we don't want the enemy team to get too close up. Okay. <laughs> that team's looking good dude so far. These guys are a little low. Okay, let's get uh, okay, a lot of them are dumping torps, so maybe we just hang on to this one then. Yeah, let's use it on this guy. Oh this guy's in the filth. That's not good. Yeah, things are gonna start getting a little hot here. Attention. Reporting the target position. Yep, shoot. I'm not gonna I mess it up. Alright. Let's go ahead and use it on him. Really slow turrets. Let's throw it out ahead. Not really concerned about DCPing right now. But, yeah, Mortar's gonna be jammed for longer, so the, no last stand here. Okay, we had to play it safe. Okay, you. Get back! Get back! Get outside of the filth. This damage. You. We're going to lose our Igor friend here. And we need to remember that we also have plenty of torpedo reload boosters. So, so far, I've just been trying to like work on managing it. So... No, it's like so catchy. Is this is like my ping or what? The FPS is good. Da, 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 da. All foes in the filth. So, so supposedly supposed to be nine more. Unless this guy knows what he's doing or he went AFK, I have no idea. Okay, yeah. I was like, I think they spawn on a different side of us. So we're going to go ahead and uh, burn an engine boost here. Engine boost activated. And we're going to burn a torpedo reload booster. And our team was very effective at dealing with the issues at hand. So it looks like our torpedoes are looking good, possibly. Nope. <laughs> well, let's just go back and utilize some of his health. Let's see, we got another 
enemy ship over here somewhere off to the right. So let's go look into that. Don't want to get too close. Our torpedoes are not quite ready yet. But we don't have really anyone over here, so. Must be in the filth. Okay, well, he's farther off now, so we'll stay close with our Miss uh, Transylvania. We did, unfortunately, lose a tower from the looks of things. So we still got four minutes to defend, so probably going to be something spawn at four minutes. Okay, there he is. See, how fast is he going? We're going to dump those. How much damage do these torpedoes do? Yeah, 17,000. Concealment's pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can shoot. And we can probably speed boost over there if need be. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to do that. And we can play a little aggressive as well. Five seconds. Battleship destroyed. Check the health of the towers. Let's go ahead and burn another torpedo reload booster. We'll go ahead and check one that way. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be enough to kill. Since we kind of dropped it more straight on. And we haven't even used our anti-guidance system yet. What is wrong with this? Let's go ahead and use that. Let's torpedo this guy. And we'll get this guy. Oh, he took some massive hits. Yeah, we're gonna like play dumb for a minute and just like sit here. Because we want to make sure we get an effective kill here. And also apparently he can fire torpedoes. That was a total misplay on my part because I spaced that. <laughs> Yeah, that was my bad. Ah, another battleship even right there. So probably didn't need to play that aggressive on the line, but... So as uh, this continues on, you can see like we just finished the task of destroying uh, 20 enemy ships. Um, we... There's a lot of enemy ships, so you have to be really careful of that. But now the focus is, and our Yurashimi is getting this, is going after the Great Gorgon, as that is one of the secondary tasks. So he is doing really good in his role here. So it looks like he's just waiting for his torpedoes to reload. So this is the guy who knows what he's doing, I would say. Yeah, that's dead. And... When you lose a tower, didn't also mention this, is that you also get a delay in the time. Um, so you really have to be mindful of that and trying to defend these towers uh, when enemy team is attacking them. Um, otherwise, you know, that win was a lot closer and now the timer gets somewhat reset to kind of like think of it when um, someone steps on the cap. So you do need to be mindful of uh, those things. So um, this guy is working his magic because the Great Gorgon has a ton of health, 325,000, so uh, I don't agree with Torp being from the front. A little bit of a misplay there, because uh, he had four torpedoes. That was like uh, at least that's 17,000 damage per torpedo. 
So, kind of missed out a little bit on that, but... But that was my bad. It's been a while since I played this, and I probably could have ran in there with him and also torpedoed him. So he's really not getting any support from the rest of our team because they're trying to work on defending here. Um, so he's going to have a rough time going it alone. So that was, uh, I will chalk that up as being my bad. So it doesn't look like we are going to get this possibly. Tire still full health. We did save Transylvania. And we did complete, but uh, unfortunately, ah, uh, that's so close. Oh, he's flooding. Does that count? <laughs> we'll find out. Save two towers. So that still counted. So we did get four or five stars. So that guy was coming in clutch, and we got the flooding at the end. So I will chalk that up as I could have helped him more. Um, I could have stepped up and done a little bit more uh, with him, but uh, we will compliment him for doing well. As well as this guy, he's just pretty much stuck with the ship, so we're with this guy. Yeah, so that is a brief um, introduction. I figured it was probably better for me to do more of a first run through, so then rather than me playing a couple of them and um, Kind of mastering it per se you can kind of see how the things develop um, as they go on so you're kind of getting a true like uh learning with flimsy experience um and what things you just have to be mindful of so that's gonna wrap up today's video so if you do end up playing this app around uh now in the halloween time hope this video gives a little bit more help i've just been really busy and i haven't had the opportunity to sit down and record this video sooner and give it to you on youtube uh, but uh, better late than never, I guess, eh? <laughs> so if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you did not, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed to us much, I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.